Uh, what a day it is, Anzac Day, and what a match we always get to. The Dragons and the Roosters, their traditional battle. A man who's played in the few himself, Brad Fittless here. Nice to see James. you, Freddie. I, I love watching sport on Anzac Day, and there's always so much emotion behind it. I can't even imagine what it's like running out to be a part of that. How do you sum that up? Well, the big one was the week. We always used to get someone in that had been to war and talk about yep. war and the effects of war. And, and it gives you a real gratitude that, you know, you play a tough game, but it's nothing like, you know, putting your hand up and have to run over run over the top of a hill and the possibility of copping a bullet. Mm. And speaking to someone about that and the reality of what goes what goes in and the mindset needed to do that, it sort of makes your job seem a lot easier on that day. And that's why all those days are so great, the clashes are so great. It's just those reminders during the week that, you know what, well, you're going out there playing a tough game, but you're going out with a heap of mates you like, blokes you've trained hard with, mm. and you know what, there's a really good chance that you know, you're going to come out of the day smiling, good chance you're not going to be injured and you get to sort of have this beautiful memory of so many people turning up and it's just fantastic. The, the build up all the way through is just one of those awesome days. Uh, the atmosphere at the ground, what's that like when you've got that, that sort of that buzz in the crowd and then probably when they play the last post and there's just those moments of silence. Yeah, well, when, when I played they used to also send the jet over and that was my favourite. Yep. Well, the last post is always pretty good. Yeah. But the jet coming over and just... It's just gone, and then the sound comes in after the jet, and the whole sort of the whole stadium had vibrated, and you know, forty thousand people had just start cheering. And yep. We had some amazing events. You know, we had the the rain a couple of years ago where they had to call oh, the game right. off. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a fantastic moment. I forget what year it was where uh, I ended up scoring a try from about halfway, and uh, that was just one of those moments where it'll just it's etched in my memory just. Just, I think the the power of the people that are there, and then you, the reaction of your teammates when you turn around and see them come at you, and then mm. you know the build up from the week, and you know, we won the game, and it was uh, yeah, it was just one of those awesome moments uh, that I think only sport can deliver. And the Dragons and Roosters just have embraced it so well, haven't they? It's all, it, it just seems like a perfectly suited rivalry for the day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for a while there, they'll hold holding the game, St George's. Games were out at ANZ, but mm. it's St George's home home ground this year, and it's they've kept it at Allianz Stadium. So um, it always works better there. Without, you know, it just works better. They just come in from the pubs, and you know, it'll be sold out, and it'll just be one of those brilliant experiences again. Uh, it's just a great way to celebrate the day. And I think people, you know, they'll go to the pub, they play their tour, they go and watch a game of footy, and they, you know, it's all about remembrance. Goes to the SCG uh, next year for the next three years while the SFS gets knocked down and, and rebuilt as well. I. I think it'll be great there. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Sydney Cricket Ground. Yeah, to see it full. Of the history. Yeah, to see that full at a rugby league game would be absolutely awesome. So, um, you know, getting the old diggers in and sitting amongst some of those old stadiums would be, uh, I'm sure it'd be a great moment for them as well. Love it, Brad. Looking forward to this matchup. Should be a beauty. Always a beauty. Brad's thoughts on that Anzac Day matchup and the day itself as the Roosters and Dragons go head to head.